Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. So in the last two videos, we have seen how to capture videos from our default camera device or how to add geometric shapes on the images. Now in this video, we are going to combine the knowledge we have gained in the last two videos. So if you haven't seen the last two videos, I will recommend you to watch those videos and then come to this video. So in this video, we will see how we can uh, just draw something on a video and more specifically, the aim of this video is how to show the current date and time on a live video. So now in the last video, we have seen how to draw shapes on images and we have also seen how to uh, put text on our images, right? So let's say we just want to print the value of width and height on the default camera. And let me just remove this line, which we have used to convert the BGR image to the grayscale image. So we will uh, just uh, see the colored BGR image. So now what we want to do is we want to print the width and height, which we get from these properties on our video, which we are capturing. So in the last video, we have already seen that we can use a method, which is CV2 dot put text. Yeah. So this method we have seen in the last video. And first of all, we will define the font, which we will pass to our put text method. So the font I'm using here is CV2 dot font Hershey underscore simplex. And now the first argument here will be the frame which we are capturing because every frame is just like an image and a video is the combination of multiple images. So the first argument here will be the frame. The second argument here will be your text. So the text which we want to show here is let's say width and height. So let's define a variable which we want to show on our video. So let's say the variable name is text. And first of all, I'm going to define the width. So just say width and then we are going to provide the value of the width using the concatenation operator. Now, because this value will be in integer and we want to convert it to the string. So we will use the str method to convert the integer to the string. And then we can pass the width here inside our string variable. Once again, we will use the concatenation operator and then let's provide some uh, space here. And then we will uh, just write uh, height colon. And then once again, the concatenation operator. And once again, we will use this uh, string method. And inside this string method, we will now take the height. Okay. And now we will pass this text to our put text argument. Now the third argument is the coordinate. So let's say I want to just put this text at the coordinate 10 comma 50. The fourth argument is the font, which we have already declared. The fifth argument is the thickness. So let's say the thickness we want is one and then the color. So let's say the color we want is zero comma 255 comma 255 and then the thickness. So I think the thickness comes after the color and the value one we have set for the font scale. So you can change the font scale uh, one, two, three, four, any font, you can uh, change it from here. So this value one is for the font scale and the value we are providing right now is for the thickness. So let's say the thickness is two and the last argument here will be the line type. So I'm going to just provide the line type as CV2 dot line underscore AA. So what do you think? Will this uh, text will be printed on our image or not? So it will not print yet because we need to write on the frame this text. So we need to just write frame 
is equal to and then put the text on the same frame which we are seeing right now. So now this will work and let me just break this line so you will see all the code. And now let's run the code and let's see what happens when we run the code. So let me run this uh, script and you will see here that now we are seeing the width and height on top of this video which is 1280 and the height is 720.0. So this is how you can show text on your video which you are capturing from the web camera or from the video file. Now let me just comment these lines of code because they are changing the resolution of our video and it's not uh, fitting this video uh, screencast. So I have uh, commented this code and now let's do something more interesting. So now let's say we want to show the current date and time on the video and you might have guessed how to print it but let me show you if you don't uh, know how to print the date and time on your live video. So first of all we are going to import the package which is available inside uh, Python which is date time and then we are going to create uh, this date time variable let's say the date time variable uh, name will be uh, date uh, t and then first of all we are going to use the str method to convert the date and time to string and then there is a method inside this date time uh, library so we just need to write date time dot date time once again and then the method called now which is going to show you the current date and time so once we have converted our current date and time to the string variable then we can pass this variable as the second argument and now let's run the script and let's see what happens once again so I am running the script and now you will see that it shows the current time and current date on the video itself. So this is how you can uh, put the text on your video. You can even put some uh, shapes which we have seen in the last video on this video itself. So you can put the line or the rectangle or the circle on your video which you are capturing from the camera or some file. So this was some kind of a mini project which we have created from the knowledge which we have gained from the last two videos. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.